let me read it a steel ball is dropped from the roof of a building a person standing in front of a 1 meter i where all data is there i'll highlight it 1 meter i window in the building know that the ball takes 0.1 seconds to fall from the top to the bottom of the window so this is the window so the this is what 0.1 meter so the ball is dropped from here the ball is dropped i'll i'll take some other color then it will pass through the window okay no so these are the some uh, if you can give symbols okay you can you can also give the symbols like a b c d the ball let me come for this one in the know that the ball takes 0.1 seconds to fall from top to the bottom of the window the ball takes 0.1 seconds to pass through this window the ball continues to fall strikes the ground and on striking the ground the ball gets rebounded with this with the same speed with which it strike the ground if the ball reappears at the bottom of the window 2 seconds after passing the bottom of window on the way down find the height of the building you have to calculate this total height of the building hmm, what is the total height of the building i, I think just it's uh, applying equations of motion this is what h which we have to calculate so this is the height of the building here so what are the informations we know tbc time taken by the ball to move from b to c it is dropped it, it is released from rest here the ball is dropped from rest here then it will fall it will take 0.1 seconds to pass through this it will go strike it will rebound with the same speed <coughs> it will come and strike with a speed and it will rebound and it will reappear again here we will take it bb vc it will go and strike there this is vd and the gravity is present everything happens in the presence of gravity so what all the informations we have time taken this tbc tbc 0.1 second then time taken to move from bottom of the window to go strike the ground again written back tc dc Two seconds. Okay, th there's only the data what we have available. Okay, let's come for the window. Okay, this is the window. So at window we can apply VC equal to VB plus GTBC. What is VC? We don't know that. Both are unknown. Keep it here. 10 into uh, 0.1 so vc equal to vb plus 1 call this equation 1 then we know height of the window vc square minus vb square equal to 2g into height of the window 0.1 so vc square minus vb square equal to so this will become 2 or vc minus vb vc plus vb equal to 2 substituting substituting 1 in 2 <coughs> vc minus vb equal to 1 or or this may this will be very lengthy huh? this will be okay I'll, i'll i'll just put it if you want to can solve this will be very lengthy. instead let me go for other formula h h h c b equal to vb tbc plus g tbc square by 
So this will become 0 0.1. Uh, speed of the ball. Okay, th this we don't know. Okay, we'll keep it. 0 0.1, 10, 0 0.1, 2. Okay, unknown thing is VB. So how much will get VB if you solve it? 10 point. 5 meter per second. Substitute that VB there, 10.5, you'll get the VC. Sorry, V1 is 9.5, I, I think. So VC will become substitute here. So VC will become 10.5. Okay, all these things we know it. Okay, now with the help of this, <coughs> we know HBC. Okay, this is some, yeah. Can we calculate the distance CD and other things? So can we calculate first VB, applying the equations of motion, VB squared minus VA squared equal to 2G. I'll call this distance as H1, H2, H3. So what is H1? We don't know that one, but do we know VB and VA? VA is in fact zero. Any reason for that? Release from rest, the ball is released from rest. So therefore this VB square, <coughs> 9.5 whole square minus 0 square 2 into 10 h1. Now h1 will be 4.5 meter uh, nearest value. We know already h2 0 0.1 h3 has to be calculated. So I'll, I'll take help of the next one more. How to calculate H? I'll slightly slide up. Yeah. How to calculate H3? H3 is equal to H3 is equal to VC TC. Let me adjust the nip pen nip. H3 equal to VC. TCD plus G TCD all squared. VC value we know 10.5. Time taken to move from C to D. It is equal to one second. There's a given, there's a given thing. One second plus 10 by two. Solving this, we'll get the H3, which is 15.5 meters. So what is the height of the building? Height of the building will be H1 plus H2 plus H3. So adding up all this, we'll get the 21 centimeter. Uh, complete analysis is available. You can see once. So this will be our answer. This is our final answer.